So now let's explore the viewport shading options inside of Blender. So over here you can see that I have this object and to work around with shading, first of all, what I'm going to do is duplicate the object. And to do that, I'm just going to press Shift D on my keyboard. And then you can see another instance of the object pops up. So I'm going to press Shift D again. And there you go. I can select this, Shift D, and there you go. You can see that I have uh, another object right here, just like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and see the different viewport shadings. So by default, this is in the object shading, the viewport shading uh, mode is applied. But let's go ahead and turn wireframes only. So if I were to go on wireframes only, you can see that only the wireframes of the object are displayed. This is a very fast render method right here. So uh, the workflow becomes very faster as the graphic card does not have to uh, go through the process of rendering the shadings. And to see the options for this particular viewport shading, you can go over here. And then here you can see that you can go around into different colors. You can go for random color. So that random color is applied onto different objects and so forth. This is however just for preview and won't be rendered out. So you can go around and then change around the background right here from the viewport. You can go around with uh, the theme right here, work around with X-ray as well, as you can see on how much transparent you want the objects to be just like that. And you can work around with these settings right here. So the other shading option you have is the viewport shading. And once you go there, this is the default view, as you can see, uh, which actually pops up when you start up Blender. So if I were to click on the drop down menu, you can see that you have some uh, object right here. Like you can work around with vertex, you can work around with random so that all of the objects are colored out differently. Then again, this is only for preview and not for rendering. You can work around with the background, the viewport and other things as well, such as X-ray. You can work around even with shadows, as you can see. So if you have that turned on, then you can work around with these details. But this is something we'll be exploring in uh, for the lessons. You can see that I can go around, turn on shadow and you can actually see the shadow right here as well. So I'm just going to go around, move this and you can see that the shadow is there. So I'm just going to go around. You can turn that on or off. As you can see, you can turn on, on depth of field for a different camera effect, even specular lighting, outline, and so forth. So other option you have are mocaps, as you can see. So you can go around and then go around with different uh, type of options. You can go to viewport and then you can go for flat rendering as well, depending on what you need. So these are all the uh, options that are there. And once you start out, modeling but so once you start out animating and working around with blender you'll get familiar more and more with these so then the other option you have is this one and that is for viewport shading as you can see so you can go around and work around with the opacity you can go work around with the scene lighting as you can see you can work around with the world and so forth and then you can even rotate this around increase and decrease the strength as you can see right here and this is how it actually looks out so it renders out the lighting in the scene as well. So you can work around with the opacity. You can work around with the blur of the world. You can see that there's the background right there, uh, just like this. So you can enable these kind of objects right here. So you can go around and see even more options right here, like materials and so forth. You can even click on this, apply materials like this. But then again, like I said, this is just for preview. So you can see all the signiness and everything as you can see right here. So you can go around over here and choose the object you want and see the preview of how it actually looks like in these objects. And that is how you can actually give different looks. So over here in the different view, you can see that it changes around. And then over here at the end, there's viewport shading, and this is for rendering. So you have scene lighting that you can turn on and enable and disable the scene world. You can increase out the strength. You can increase out the opacity of the world, the blurriness of the world. So you can really get the details or you can increase the blur, blur level right here. You can even rotate out uh, the environment as you can see right there. And that is how you can work around with viewport shading options and duplicating options inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.